Okay, now for the bench, the workbench, we're not going to get into technical things today. Why? Because it's Brent's workbench, and I thought this would be a good place to talk about Isn't some that of Brent's history, pets, pets, history lessons. No, <laughs> some pet peeves. Okay. Not really a pet peeve, but as many of you know, we run long arm quilt machines here. And unlike lots of long arm quilters, you drop it off, we're going to quilt it. So we're not picky if you got wavy borders. We're not picky if it's been in the crammed in the laundry basket for the last 10 years. We'll throw it on a machine and we'll quilt it. So because of that, <laughs> we have some stuff that comes through that's like, what's going on here? But what I run into, what, um, what we run into a lot, because like I said, we're really easy going. It's, we're just, that's the way we roll here. Well, we run into that's sometimes. That's the way he rolls. Yes, but that's that's how <laughs> that's it's been. Since I'm running, but that's but I'm running the long arm machines. <laughs> but anyway, pretty much anything that comes through, we throw on the machine. What we I've run into a couple times in the last month or so, because we've had a lot come in since Christmas. We we have a ton in. It's been crazy. Is I just want to talk about quilt backs real quick, because um, I think a lot of people have taken up the hobby of quilting and are getting into quilting. And they may have not, you know, there's, you know, you might say, I, I want to get a quilt that you bring too long and I'm going to take care of it. Um, we have people bringing in quilt backs that are the exact same size as the quilt top. Mm. Um, and there's ways to work around that, but that is a problem from a long arming standpoint because you need at least a couple inches top and, on the top and the bottom to attach it to the frame. More like four inches. Yeah, I'm, I'm being, at a least, couple is close. At least, four. I always said le at, least at least four, four inches when, wider. And yes, longer. that's what I tell people. Four on every side. Um, so what happens is uh, we've gotten a few that are really tight. Um, and we can make it work. But always make sure that your quilt back is a little bit bigger than your quilt top. Minimum I know that most of you wa of, watching this. Actually, four plus four is eight. Yep. Eight inches wider. Yes. Eight inches wider. I'm sure longer. most of the people watching this right now already know this. But I just wanted to put that out there as a tip, and I'm sure it'll show up on our YouTube as like, oh, quilt backs or whatever. We'll do a fun thumbnail. But I just want to throw that out there because we have a lot of people have started, uh, we've seen a lot of new people quilting. And one of the things that I have noticed is there's been a few backs that are close, some that are just not big enough Well, at I don't all. think people understand how we, you have to anchor it. Yeah. Uh, on but the I machine. also, the other thing is I think people also go by what's, listed on the pattern sometimes and they don't oh, actually measure yep and so then they just buy it back based on what's on the pattern without measuring anything and they're like oh this should be big enough and then we get it in here and it's six inches short on the machine yeah. so it's one thing just make sure that your quilt backs are at least um eight inches i can get away with six inches overall bigger eight. but eight is better um and then that brings me to my next point which i think i've talked about this before but i'm going to bring it up again just because i can <laughs> is two-sided quilts I know everybody thinks that's a really cool idea. You make a quilt top and another quilt top and use one quilt top for the back of the top so we can flip it over and have two sides to your quilt. Mm -hmm. That's a pain in the butt when you're trying to long arm to line that up. We can usually get it close, but it's never perfect and it's a pain. And why do that to yourself? You've made two nice quilt tops. Make two quilts and then just swap them out. <laughs> I mean, I get, the, I get the concept. It's a nice concept, but from a long arming standpoint, it is difficult to get it to line up right. So if you are doing a quilt, a two-sided two quilt, keep in mind that if you are gonna have a long arm, your long armor, um, talk with your long armor ahead of time because you, there, there's gonna be some limitations to it. It um, gets very custom at that point because you, the yeah, you, it has, you, you're not just laying down a piece of blank fabric. Yeah, we can put you've got to you've got to make sure the back. You got to work with the back and the front, make sure it lines up, and that's very hard to do when you get it on a long arm machine. Mm. Um, so if you are making a two sided quilt, talk to your long armor before you commit to it because I I I will yeah. talk you out of it if I can because I would say make two quilts. It's easier for us to long arm, and then you know you can give yeah. them away. Uh, and, the and the batting, yes. The batting, you can uh, we get a little bit more room for error on the batting. If the batting is the exact same size as the top, it's not good because your batting might not fill out to the edges all the way. But you can still get it quilted um, because you're you're using the base for the quilting is actually the back. Yeah. But yes, make your Don't batting. Don't you usually supply the batting? Yeah, we've got people, batting here. Yeah, we've got batting here. People, so, do people bring in their own batting? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they do. Mm -hmm. But the thing, the nice thing about it, we have batting here. So sometimes people bring in their own batting, and it's just not even close to big enough. Yeah. So we'll just um, grab something off the shelf and get it sorted for them. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. And the other thing, from a batting standpoint, I'll throw this out there. This is 
Brent stuff. I don't know if Becky will agree with me on this at all. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> uh, but we do this a lot when we do samples. Is we'll take scrap batting and piece it in as we're as we're quilting, just to use up this the um, what we've got kicking around for batting. Um, the downside to that is where the batting butts up. You'll get a, you can get a it can get a little lumpy. It's not awful, but I don't do it on customer quilts just because there's a quality. But if it's one of ours, I do it all the time. You really can't tell, but that is. That is an option if you do have a lot of scrap batting and you just want to use that in your quilt. Bring it in in a bag and we'll do it in for you. Um, don't bother piecing it all together with zigzags and all that. Just bring in all your scraps and we'll save make it, it work. Save it for placemats. Or save it for placemats. But um, yeah, that's all I had for the workbench day. Just you know, make your quilt backs big enough.